Today we're joined by Loretta Napoleoni, author, economist, and we're talking about her latest adventure, well, her latest written ad adventure at least. Um, Loretta, this time you've touched on a very different topic to what we normally associate with you. Um, we're discussing, of course, your latest book, The Power of Knitting. And I was wondering if you could please um, explain to us a bit about what led you to this topic and, you know, where, you, where you're at at the moment, the space you're at at the moment. Well, I decided to write um, a book using uh, knitting as a metaphor of life. So, human relation, um, sicknesses, economics, politics, uh, even science, uh, everything can uh, actually be explained uh, through the metaphor of knitting. And I did it because, um, I mean, for two reasons. One is that I wrote so many books about uh, the dark side of our world, uh, economics and politics, uh, and I felt the message uh, did go through, but not uh, as deeply as I wanted. Uh, so I thought if I use a metaphor, Maybe people will understand it e in an easier way. And the other reason is because I'm a big knitter. I learned how to knit when I was little. My grandmother taught me. And I went through a very hard time in my life recently. And knitting really helped me to get through it. So this is why I thought, um, why not using knitting? But also to help other people. So the way, you know, you describe this as a metaphor for life or the times that we're in um, and also obviously to make the connection, as you said, you drew from your own experiences and spoke a bit about your own life. This would be one of the first times that you've given us a bit more of yourself, right, in your writing? Yeah, yes. In fact, you know, the book really starts with my grandmother teaching me how to knit and uh, talking to me, mm, telling me also fairy tales and uh, the first, um, um, the beginning of the book, in the introduction, um, there is the uh, my grandmother version of, of Sleeping Beauty, uh, which was really interesting because uh, she said that the village uh, was a very famous village all over the world uh, for their uh, knitting. They had, you know, the best wool and they did the most beautiful knitted items. And then, you know, when, of course, uh, the king decided to prohibit uh, spinning, uh, the entire economy of the village collapsed because everything was interlinked. Uh, so, you know, shepherds, for example, couldn't keep uh, the, the sheep anymore. Um, uh, shopkeepers couldn't sell their products anymore. So, and that was so amazing when my mom, my grandmother was telling me this story because uh, for the first time I really understood what economics is. Uh, because I was a child, of course, I must have been eight or nine years old. So that's the beginning, basically, of the book, how knitting can actually be used, which is what my grandmother did, even to adapt 